Hi, I'm Celestial Cindy from CelestialCindy.com and this is a daily vlog video. Uh, as you can tell, Philip just now fell asleep. So it's time for night night. It is uh, bedtime for us now. Uh, Philip finally fell asleep. Uh, we had a wonderful day together today. Um, I am still doing uh, the exclusive breastfeeding with Philip, so for most of the day today, I just uh, sat in my kitchen and wore my little uh, breastfeeding pillow, and I like to um, wake up in the morning and go in my kitchen where there's a lot of natural sunlight uh, so we can get some sunshine and some vitamin D. Um, I just feel like I feel happier if I sit in my kitchen uh, and we can see the nice, beautiful sunshine, uh, get some natural sun sunshine and some natural sunlight. I think it's good for your mental health to get a little bit of sunshine during the day. So uh, during the day, we like to hang out in our kitchen slash living room uh, and just breastfeed uh, in front of the window in our kitchen. So we had a great day. Uh, like I said, we breastfed, uh, I'd say like 70 or 80% of the day. Um, uh, Philip still doesn't really want to take a bottle. Um, I have been trying to supplement Philip with like one bottle of baby formula per day, like in addition to doing the exclusive breastfeeding. But Philip uh, completely rejects uh, drinking the formula. Um, so we don't really do the formula, even though every day I try to give Philip like one bottle of formula. And the reason why I started trying to supplement uh, Philip with one bottle of baby formula per day is because after Philip was born, uh, he kind of he had like some cute little black hair. But then Philip lost a little bit of his hair after Philip was born, so that made me a little bit worried. Like, maybe if I supplement uh, Philip with one bottle of baby formula per day, maybe the baby formula might have uh, some more vitamins or nutrients than just doing the exclusive breastfeeding. Um, because you know, with the exclusive breastfeeding, there's no real way to tell um, how many ounces of milk your baby is drinking per day. Um, you just have to weigh your baby and see if your baby is gaining weight appropriately, which Philip has been uh, gaining weight appropriately and has the pee and poop diapers, I guess. Uh, just seeing if your baby has several pee or poop diapers every day and uh, weighing your baby on a little uh, baby scale. Uh, and if your baby's gaining weight, I guess those are all good indicators that um, your breastfed baby is uh, getting enough milk and growing appropriately. But anyways, Philip uh, will not drink out of a bottle, like at all, period. Like, he won't even take one sip. He just, like, if I try to give Philip uh, the baby formula with the bottle, he just, like, closes his lips and he just, like, makes this really angry sound. Like, he's mad. He's just like, ah. He's <laughs> like, ah. Oh, no, I'm waking him up. But, yeah, he makes, like, a little mad sound if I try to supplement with one bottle of baby formula. So, he doesn't really drink the baby formula. He pretty much just breastfeeds, but Philip will eat uh, the baby foods. Um, I do usually give Philip like, um, sorry, <laughs> uh, I usually give Philip like two little pouches of uh, baby food, like maybe like 
blueberry oatmeal, like a pouch of blueberry oatmeal baby food or a strawberry banana baby food with oatmeal, like those little uh, baby food squeezy pouches that have like the little straw. So he will eat like a couple pouches of baby food every day in addition to doing the exclusive breastfeeding. Uh, but he won't drink the formula out of the bottle. He doesn't like a bottle, but he will eat the baby food. And like sometimes I give him just like some real foods. Like I ate some mashed potatoes for dinner. So I gave Philip like a couple bites of the mashed potatoes um, just so I could uh, give Philip a little taste of some mashed potatoes and some real foods, um, that were, like, really mashed up so he wouldn't get choked or anything. But yeah, we had a really good day today. Um, like I said, we still breastfeed for, like, 70 or 80 percent of the day, whether it's, uh, I breastfeed in the kitchen in front of the window or, uh, I just lay on the bed and just breastfeed Philip on the bed. So yeah, so I don't know uh, when we're going to stop uh, doing the exclusive breastfeeding, but we're definitely not going to stop doing the breastfeeding right now because uh, Philip rejects the formula. He won't. He won't drink it. You know, like even if if he's like starving, he he won't drink the formula. So I guess we're just gonna keep doing the breastfeeding, and the breastfeeding doesn't bother me. Like. Um, I mean, I had to eat a lot more food, uh, doing the exclusive breastfeeding, but I love Philip, so I'm willing to eat, you know, double or triple, uh, the amount of food that I would normally eat, um, so that I can make, a uh, high quality, uh, breast milk to breastfeed him. So, yeah. So, eventually when I stop breastfeeding, I'm gonna go on a diet again. <laughs> Or, like, not eat like I'm eating right now. Like, this morning for breakfast, I ate a slice of cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> it was, like, um, a Cinnabon slice of cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. So I had the yummy uh, slice of cheesecake for breakfast. And then later uh, for dinner, I had, like this like cheesecake factory dinner meal that was like uh chicken and biscuits like a chicken and biscuit dinner had like some carrots and some peas and uh it was definitely uh, a comfort food dinner <laughs> but eventually when i stop breastfeeding philip i'll probably go back to eating healthy you know eating oatmeal or grilled chicken and, you know, broccoli. I used to eat really healthy, but, uh, now in order to maintain my pre-pregnancy weight, I have to eat, like, double or triple, uh, since I'm doing, uh, the exclusive breastfeeding and since most of Philip's calories are coming from just breastfeeding, but, yeah. I might be sad when we stop breastfeeding, though, because, I don't even know what I would do. Like, <laughs> I watch other women's um, YouTube vlog videos and I see other women, like, able to clean their house and, you know, do dishes and a lot of different stuff. Um, but since I'm breastfeeding, he breastfeeds for, like, almost the whole day. So I don't have a lot of time to, like, uh, clean the house all perfectly and everything. <laughs> Yeah, so I pretty much just breastfeed all day, um, but usually after I wake up in the morning, I'll like grab the dirty laundry and uh, take it down and put it in the clothes washer and I'll like wash a load of clothes and set an alarm on my phone and uh, go get the clothes out of the dryer and hang up the clean clothes and daddy is ready for sleep. And we're all ready for sleep. Um, if you enjoyed watching this YouTube video, please click like. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all of our exciting 
and fun family YouTube videos. Thank you guys so much for watching our YouTube channel. This is a brand new channel. We're trying to get the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours. So help us make our dreams come true. And like and subscribe and watch all of our videos and sweet dreams. Good night. Bye. We love you.